Hello, viewers of Mr. Who Views. And they are reviewing Young Justice Phantoms Involuntary. Um, this episode just starts with Miss Martian, Superboy, um, Beast Boy saying goodbye, their goodbyes to Bioship since he's going off to live the rest of uh, her remaining life. Um, this one kind of built upset that Nightwing and uh, Forger uh, weren't, weren't able to say their goodbyes, but they probably have a, like a, a toast thing for the ship or whatever, but at least they have the, the baby ship, so, hmm. And, uh, Superboy actually realizes that uh, who uh, killed the Martian King in the episode since uh, he, um, McGann and uh, Guard do a, uh, like, a uh, mind link in a, in a, in a mind palace to just uh, figure out everything from all the information they have. Uh, turn out one of the witnesses there who's a white march and then we come forward since the, the way they treat white march and this just very um, badly but he did, he won, he did, did tell McGann since he, he is a fellow white march and then won't punish him uh, that badly. Uh, turn out Prince Martin celebrating his uh, birthday. Oh yeah, McGann tries to reconcile with her brother while he's getting the Marson nuke ready. But it doesn't really work and it turns out uh, their sister wants to reconcile as well as the priestess what's the best way to start or how she can even do it. So, hmm. Um, when they tell the prince the information that they have it uh, he realizes for Connor, who actually did enter out the priestess stuff there that he's supposed to marry, but his dad, the former king, was against it. Because even if he thinks that there's gonna be any divide between green and white marathons, yeah, he's still all for uh, red marathon supremacy. And the priestess tried to. Get him to see uh, that she belonged with the prince, but he didn't really have it, and her emotional state wasn't that good. I thought control of her uh, electric martian powers and accidentally uh, kills the, the king. And she uh, gets taken away afterwards, but. That does leave a bigger question since he isn't uh, connected to the Zeta 2 booming and some of the other bad stuff happening in Mars. And it turns out that uh, whoever the Legion is looking for was to uh, keep an eye on McGann's uh, brother. And it turns out he actually set uh, McGann's brother set the bomb beneath where the prince is holding. His party, and when he got to let the news out about the priestess being a white marathon and was responsible for killing the king, the person who was against the marriage and earth, the corporation thing, is trying to fuel the fire of hatred between the two races or those two uh, versions of marathons. And the prince uh, tries to calm the flames and does try to get. Corporation or messed up corporation to ring out. Uh, they able to find a bomb, and Connor is saying that he's the only one that can, that can uh, put it down to the or the, the, the Martian core since uh, the fire there would uh, probably do something bad to uh, Miss Marison, including what the bomb might do, and Gar won't be able to handle the heat. And within the preview, they actually showed that uh, uh, Connor having blood on all of them, and people thought he'd probably beaten somebody to a pulp. But there aren't being his own blood, and yeah, he's able to get 
the bomb down there before it get, goes off. But it does go off when it, when it gets them there. And wh whoever the lesions after puts a kryptonite in the air, so. Yeah, he's probably dead, and, and around that time, uh, Mars Man Hunter and Superman, as he comes in, to get Gar and Megan out. And uh, Connor is to whom they're just all dead. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, since I think that the Legion probably uh, saved them, or maybe some other way. But this is a good episode of focusing more on the racial divide between the Martian species. And you did kind of expect that uh, the Martian princess was behind this, but you know, you didn't really expect her to do an accent by accent. And this it does explain why she uh, volunteered to be the princess for uh, Connor and McGann's uh, wedding, so. Hmm. Um, I don't know if they'll continue this uh, storyline in next episode since they showed a poster for the next storyline, which will be focusing on the uh, Arthmas and we'll have a uh, uh, orphan Lady Shiva, uh, Cheshire, and uh, one of the uh, Vandal Sav's daughters, and somebody else, and I can't really make out. It was on the poster, but hmm. Uh, there'll be a karate type best storyline, or there's a flying type one, but whatever. Hmm. Pop my blood there, but well, hopefully it's good. But I do hope they uh, pick or does that show if uh, Connor is alive or whatever at some point. If they're not gonna uh, show it in next week's episode, so have to see. And if he is dead, I wonder if he's going to keep it permanent, like, get yeah, what he's uh, dead, or does bring him back somehow. How do we see? And, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys later.